In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an ebook in Canva. Now, I've already created a couple of other videos on my channel that you can see here about creating an ebook with either ChatGPT or AI tools. But in this video, I'm specifically going to be showing you how to create your ebook using Canva. Now, this is an effective way to create an ebook, but it is a little bit slow and cumbersome and there's a bit of a manual process involved. However, if you stick with me to the end of this video, I'm also going to show you an AI tool that is much better, specifically designed to create ebooks, so it can do it much faster, much more efficient, and it can even write the content for you. But before we get to that, let's get into the video and I'll show you how to create your ebooks with Canva. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to log into Canva, of course. Good. And then come to the search bar and search for ebooks. And then choose ebook template. And now from here, you're going to get lots of different templates that you can choose. But at the beginning, Canva is just going to throw up loads of different templates in across different industries for you. A bit of a mishmash. So if you want to specifically search for a template in a particular niche, like health or business or whatever, then come to this button that says filters. And first of all, this is a bit confusing when it lists categories here. This is not what you're looking for at this point. But what you actually want is the theme. So come down to the themes and you can go to view more and you can see ebook themes under business or marketing or fashion and so on. And there's loads and loads of themes to choose from here. So I'm just gonna choose health just for the sake of this demo and click apply. And then now Canva is gonna show us all the different templates they've got related to health. So then when you see a design you like, if you click on it, so for example, this one, this is the the example of the cover and it's all customizable so you, if you like tip you want to change it we can do that it's no problem and you see down here this particular template includes four different templates for you to use as well within the ebook like how to lay out your content this will be a table of contents page this will be your chapter page and then this will be the actual contents pages with images and things like that how about this one healthy breakfast ideas so on this one there's no internal templates it's just the cover so if you're looking to create a full ebook, not just the cover, but you want the internal pages as well, then I recommend that you choose a template that's already got internal pages suggested for you as well. Like this one here, for example, you've got the internal pages. All right, so one more other thing to note is I'm in a pro account at the moment, but you can also do this, I believe, with a free account. However, you just don't get access to as many templates. Now, where you see all these template designs, this bottom, this little crown, where it says pro, so all these designs are only available on the pro account, but this one here has got no marking, nor is this one, and this one. So there are templates in here on the free account, like this one with internal pages as well. Now, once you see one you like, I'm gonna go with this one, just for the sake of this demo, and then click customize template. And now that's going to pull this template into the Canva editor for us. And we've got our pages laid out here. Okay, now, so when it comes to the cover, you can change anything here, for example, like you can rewrite your title or you can just edit things here. You can change the color, you can come up to here and just click. And you might want to choose a different color to change all of those. And you might want to write your name on the bottom. And of course, you can change the font as well if you want to change the font. There we go. And let's just bring it to the same color working with so that's pretty easy and also you've got other elements you can drop in as well so in the search bar if you search for like healthy food and perhaps let's go with this one you can drop that in and just rearrange it i mean this looks a bit crap now but you get the idea you can drop in any of these elements as well now what about if you want to change the background cover well yeah you can do that as well so one way to do it is to go in the left menu here to background and then search for a background that you like or if you want to particularly choose a category let's go for healthy food again and i don't know so grab this pumpkin and there we go it throws this design in as the background now if you don't like anything you've just done you can just hit this back button and it will go back a step and if you do it again it'll go back another step and another step so you can keep undoing your work so there's no problem if you make a mistake another way to change your background if you want more options is to come down to photos here now in photos again you're going to be limited if you're on a free account where you see some of these photos it says pro that's only available on the pro account but so this one's a free one this is pro and so on so let's say if we want to change it I don't know, to a smoothie background. So I click on this and drag it over, and there we go, it'll replace the picture. When you're happy with that, then you can scroll down and go to your next page. So we've got the contents page. Now, I would advise to leave the contents page to a last because, you know, at the end, then you're gonna know how many pages you've got, and then you can go and put the correct pages on your contents page. That, of course, just makes sense. Yeah. 
No shit. Now, what about if you've got more than three chapters? Well, that's no problem. Any of these pages you want to duplicate, you come above the page and there's this little menu here and it's this button here that says duplicate page. Click on this and now it's duplicated that exact page and then you can just change this to here. So this will be 04 and chapter 05 and so on. Now this is gonna look pretty good. It's gonna look like quite a nice ebook, but this content page is not interactive, unfortunately. Like it's not gonna have the option where a person can click on the link in the chapter and jump to that page. Now the AI tool I'm gonna to show you towards the end of this video does have that feature automatically built in. Sweet. So in your contents page, it's automatically gonna have that. Now moving on, this template also includes chapter pages as well. So you have a like design before each chapter, which is also a nice little touch that makes your ebook look much more professional. Again, it's the same thing. It's kind of like a cover really. You treat it like you just did with the cover. So if you wanted to change any of those designs, or if you wanted to add elements or whatnot, you can just do it simply how I showed you before. Pretty self-explanatory. And now we come to the contents pages. So this will be where our written content is. So let me show you how to work with this with a blank page. So if I'm gonna duplicate this page, of course, this is going to be the bulk of the ebook. You have most of these types of pages. So if you want to delete anything from any of the pages, you just click on any elements you want to delete and then click the delete button on your keypad and that will remove these elements. So we've got this heading here. I'm just going to keep this for now. I'm just going to sort of resize it slightly and I'm just going to put benefits of and I'm just going to adjust the size of this a little bit bigger at the moment. Okay, and now let's put a subheading in here and write our subheading resize that a little bit shrink it down and now just for speed and this is just a demo i'm not obviously making this ebook for any purpose other than to show you guys so i've just created a bit of content on ChatGPT just to have something to throw in here and then if i copy this so for example if you have written your ebook yourself and it's in a word document or google doc or if you should use ChatGPT to help you write it this is what you do just copy your content from wherever your content currently is come to text and then you need to choose the next element. So we've got the heading, we've got the subheading, but now we need the paragraph elements, which is this one. So you drag this in here, then I'm gonna go back to wherever your text is currently. And I'm just gonna grab the first paragraph, copy this and bring it back and paste it in. Okay, and then you just need to resize a little bit. Let's move it to left of the line. I'm gonna change the size a little bit, shrink that down. Okay, and you might wanna space it out slightly. Okay, and what might be nice is to have a little picture here. Oh, definitely, definitely, man. So let's go to photos and find a Kai bowl. I'm just gonna grab any image just for now. Let's grab this one, move it where he wants it. Now, as you can see, this image has got a background on it. Now that kind of looks okay, but it might look better with the background removed. So if you're using a pro account, unfortunately, this is not a feature available in the free account, only pro. You'd click on the image and then go to edit photo and then click this button here that says background remover. And that's it, it's removed the background for you. We can bring our image just to a little bit bigger like this. Now a little tip, if you are using a free account but you want to be able to have this option to remove the background, then a sneaky little trick is to use this website which is called remove.bg. It's a free site, I'll put the link in the description just to make it easy for you to find it. All you would do is drag your image in here and then instantly this website will remove the background for you and then you can click the download button and then drag your image back into Canva. Now let's put a little bit of text next to this image here. So we need to go back to the text and choose the body elements again one more time. Let's double check what size I've made this. I've currently made it 13 font size. So we want to do the same. Let's bring this to 13 and not really able to fit a lot of text here, maybe a couple of sentences. So let's go back and grab the next two sentences of our document and then let's drop it in. Okay, not bad. And then left line it and we just need to move that over again. Okay, so far looking pretty good. Now your next page, of course, this template only came with four pages, so we're just gonna have to duplicate this page to put our content in for the next page. So you just delete anything you don't want from this page, and then we're gonna go and grab the next part of our content. So let's grab this, paste it in and space it out a little bit. I'm gonna move that up a little bit. I'm gonna remove these as well. And this time to make it easier for the text, I'm gonna duplicate this and move it down. And that just saves me a step of resizing the font. So this is gonna be the same font size. I'm just gonna replace that text with the next part of my content. Grab this and replace with a new content. Space it out a bit and there you go. So now our ebook is starting to take shape. It's pretty nice. 
So as you can see, it's quite an easy process, but it is actually quite time consuming. There's a lot of manual back and forth, copy and pasting and dragging elements in. It's a lot of work. It will take you quite a while to do this, but it will create a really nice looking ebook, that's for sure. Now in a minute, I'm going to show you a much, much faster and easier way to do this. It's going to save you a ton of time. But before we get to that, let me just show you how you download this ebook from Canva. So you come over to this button here. Once you're ready with your ebook, it's ready to go. You've laid out all your pages, you've changed your page numbers and so on you then come back and adjust your table of contents at the end because now you know exactly what's on what page so your ebook is ready it comes this button up here it says share and then from here we're going to click download and where it says file type we're going to choose you've got pdf standard or pdf print so pdf print of course is if you particularly want the document it's primarily going to be printed out by whoever's going to be receiving this pdf if however it's mostly going to be viewed online then choose pdf standard and of course you can print out pdf standard i think the pdf print just looks better on print than the standard would so it's not a biggie and then before you download it just double check from this drop down that all your pages are checked to download click done and then camera is going to download this to your page now something else I want to show you in Canva is how to create like a 3D cover design as well. Awesome! But you know when you see on a landing page there's a nice 3D cover that stands out, it's a much better way to display your ebook. So you can actually do that in Canva. So what you do is you come over to this button here that says share and then move down to more and then under more there is an option somewhere here that says smart mockups. So you click on this and if this is the first time you've done it you'll have an option to connect to smart mockups. So what this actually is is a separate website which is this company here. Now smart mockups has partnered with Canva to provide this feature for Canva users. Now the cool thing with Smart Mockups is it gives you quite a few nice designs that you can use for free without paying for the account but of course if you pay for an upgraded account with Smart Mockups then you get access to a lot more templates. For example when we're talking about ebooks we come to print and choose books. I'll show you these are some of the templates that you can use. So yes one way to do this instead of connecting your Canva account to Smart Mockups you don't have to do it, it just makes it a bit easier and a bit quicker for you. You could just download your ebook then create an account for free on smart mockups and then upload your design and then choose which design you want i can do that but a much easier nicer way to do it is first create a free account of smart mockups then in canva go to the share button go to more and then find the smart mockups icon and then here there'll be a button to connect to your account once you're already logged in to smart mockups on a separate browser and then once you click save canva is going to give you the option to pull your design into canva and i'll show you what this looks like so from here it's asking to view your design in smart mockups and now your design will be viewable on, on all of Smart Mockups products. Okay, so you can see on mobile phones, on uh, mugs, on TVs, t-shirts, computer screens, books, and so on. So then from here, just come to print and books. And then from here, you can already see your book on all of the designs already. And when you see the one you like, for example, I like the look of this one, come to here and then just click download. And now you've got a 3D cover design as well, ready to be used on your landing page or your sales page. Now, if you like this way of how to create an ebook in Canva, then great, go and get stuck in and use this tool to create your ebook. It's just a bit slow and cumbersome. There's a few restrictions. For example, you're not gonna be able to create interactive contents menus. You're gonna have to manually adjust your page numbers and you're also limited to 100 pages per book. Now, if you want a much faster and easier way to do this, definitely, and even have a tool that will write your content for you, then this is the tool that I recommend. It's called Designer and it's currently one of my favorite AI tools at the moment. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's a really cool tool. Now, what it can do is it can create lead magnets like eBooks or even eBooks that are worthy of selling. Now, when it comes to using this tool, you can either import your content from a Word doc or a Google Docs or PDF or whatever you have for that content. Or second option is you can use Designer's built-in AI writing tool. Third option is you can even transcribe podcasts into eBooks. Or the fourth option, which I think is really cool, is you can transcribe any YouTube video using designer it will quickly transcribe the whole content from the video and even pull out still images from the video and lay them all out nicely for you in your ebook which is amazing and on the premium plan they also have a push button feature that will turn your ebook into an audio book to give you an additional product now as you'd imagine a tool like this isn't free so if you were to come to the pricing page of designer you're going to see monthly pricing options starting at $29 a month however if you like the sound of this tool then I have access to a unique link it gives you access to the standard plan for a one-time payment of $27 and it's lifetime access. So if you like the sound of this tool, then this is a no-brainer offer. It's $27 one-time payment and you get lifetime access to the standard plan. 
Now, if you need access to any of the advanced features like being able to turn your eBooks into audiobooks or being able to transcribe YouTube videos into eBooks, then you'll be offered an upgrade after you've purchased the one-time payment of $27 if you want that. Now, full disclosure here, that link below this video is my affiliate link. So if you were to click that link and then purchase this one-time special offer with Designer, then I would get affiliate commission from Designer as a thank you, but that's at no extra cost to you. I promise to spend the money on nothing good at all. Now, if you want to see a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to use Designer, then this is the next video you'll watch. This way.